Who has a gun? I'm not voting. If we want to build our nation. The problem with the Somalians. Just want to experience something else than a black man. <laughs> move on, move on. Like a, a horse with blinkers. Honestly, say, I was about to have Corrupt. sex and then I pulled Crap, but it's nice. <laughs> My name is Silizo um, I'm a fourth year student at UCT and I stay in Mowbray. I am Kutlamente, I'm a Tandokulu grade 11 learner, and I stay in Crossroads. Hello, my name is Tandi Lembasha. I am 24 years old, I'm a dance teacher, and I stay in Fuleni. Hi, my name is Batanda Malasha, I'm from Langa Township, I'm doing grade 12 at Tandokulu High School. Hi, I'm Tandom Slasho, I am 18 years old, and I stay at Thrift Sands. Hi, my name is Asema Temeni. I'm doing grade 11 in Tanukul School. I am staying at Crossroads. Remember first being bullied about being dark skinned and being bullied about um, my body shape as like hitting puberty. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, those I think were, were the first two things that like my appearance um, that, I, that I used to be bullied about. Um, being laughed at, people saying my legs look like I'm a shwam shwam, and like, yeah, I just. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, but for a very long time, it was just this thing of, uh, of not mistake, stop talking. Oh, yeah, having like a low self confidence um, because um, people make you think or, or, or create this thing in your mind that like, the way you look isn't the right way. We shouldn't look this way, and therefore, like it's something you should be ashamed of. Um, and yeah, so that's what I first remember about being bullied. I must have been in grade seven. Um, a story came out in school. I was seeing this um, boy, <laughs> and this it came out that um, we were seeing each other because we'd walk back home together and all of that. So it came out and then it became a big hoo-ha thing. Even he turned against me and then I was the worst um, person in the school for the longest time. You know, I'm um, being called all sorts of names. Stabane, Sisputi, you know. And yeah, that's, that's my most memorable um, memory I have of being bullied. No, I was not bullied. Uh, I don't uh, keep things when people say to me, because um, the person who, who who spent time most of my time playing with girls, and some calling me Istaba and all and all, all those st stuff, and also for uh, some other day when uh, a teacher is not coming at school, uh, uh, when's the teacher's period, I go and tell uh, him or her if it's his period, and then other guys say, yo, mm, mm, fuzz, yo, all those things. Actually, the first time I experienced bullying was when I was in primary school, and um, I grew up very thin, so um, that I was mocked about that, and they used to say that maybe I'm a coisin and, and all of those stuff, yeah. So and the same thing is actually happening in class because there's this girl who's very thin and they make fun about her a lot and the way she walks, um and about her weight and, and stuff. So yeah. I was bullied when I was in <coughs> primary school because of I was too soft and sweet. So they were like, ah, nyabile, you can't say anything, you can't defend yourself. So I was like, um, really, am I? So I end up being <coughs> part of those who were bullying. Like I would also push them and do anything that is bad to them to defend myself or which that was wrong. And then <coughs> here in high school, I had a friend. Um, they used to call her that she's ugly and write her on the board, like drawing her. Um, she could feel that pain, crying, and I'm like, it's okay, it's fine, but she is strong. She didn't, sometimes she tells me that, I think today I shouldn't come to school, I don't feel right. Um, maybe trying to commit suicide, but I tell her that that's not right. There's future, it can be all right. I think that people who are more susceptible to, to getting bullied are um, 
people who aren't necessarily the norm of what people see as like right or, or, or good or beautiful or whatever. So if you're not straight, probably more likely to get bullied. If you're not, um, in the case of most black communities, if you're not light skinned, you probably will get bullied more if, um, or just generally with people, if you're not um, like a certain weight. So if you're not about, <clears throat> I don't know, maybe a regular weight, people, if it's either if you're too skinny, you can get bullied, or if you're too big, you can get bullied. Um, so yeah, I think it's, if, if people feel like there's something about you that is like deviates from what they think is, is right or normal, whatever that is, then usually you'll get bullied. Actually, like, take it seriously, as she said. If you go report like you're being bullied, they'll think you're just exaggerating. Maybe it was just like they they think it's normal for for kids to mock each other. Mm -hmm. So they'll think no, they were just playing. It's, it's nothing serious. So it will just like slip over. Mm -hmm. So they don't really like take it seriously. Teachers don't take it serious because we even had many people. Uh, Teenagers kill themselves. That uh, that are they they have tell their teachers that, that they are being bullied, but the teachers don't take uh, take it serious. What I what I know is that there's a lot of pressure on male um, bodies, especially at a young age, um, to be a man. You know, to to really, to do the things that a man do, and I think that's where a lot of Bullying comes in when it comes to, to boys. I mean, what he was saying earlier about um, you being a good guy, and it, tra it still translates now, like you are the guy that wants to make sure everyone is okay and everything. And that's when, th I think that's when you, you saying that you were bullied and being called to see see booty and all these things, because um, of that expect expectation of boys must be boys, you know? You can't be too courteous as a boy. You can't be too, you know, too sensitive as a boy. That's where I think a lot of male-to-male -male bullying comes from, from the expectation of being a man. Um, I, I grew up being told that I can't cry, boys don't cry. And this is something you hear from your mother, yes. you know, not even your father. So, yeah. That's, I think that's where a lot of male, male to male bullying, I don't know your experience with. Um, <clears throat> I found, I think the, maybe the words that we can probably use is that, not necessarily that um, boys bully boys more, girls bully boys more, mm. but it's very different. Mm. Um, it's very much with girls like words and constant words all the time and like always loud, like I want to we'll gang up on you. It's very much about clicks, very much about like, whose group is with who and isolation. The aim is always to isolate you, you on your own and we're gonna make sure that you understand that this, this is why you're on your own because we don't like you because of A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So it's very much like a words thing. Girls like to attack each other with words and to exclude each other a lot. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that's where it comes from more, I think, yeah. I usually notice that um, when girls are fighting, they just shout, talking about personal things that shouldn't be said. Um, they can't keep that, okay, like, I have a secret and then I have shared it with you. But when we are fighting, they have to bring that back. But when it's boys, they know that it was a secret. Then I have to be like, no man, don't do this to me, then hitting up with each other. Hmm. Um, another way that I felt really bullied um, in grade, Four, I had to repeat the year, because I wasn't so good with literacy. I couldn't read to save my life. Um, <laughs> so I then started going you know, to psychologists. My parents thought there was something wrong. Yes, there was domestic violence at home and everything, so that might have you know, played a role in how slow I, my learning was. But I tell you, even till this day, if I have to read out loud the anxiety levels, that hit me, my heart, till this day. And now, you know, I, 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 I go to a school, I teach kids dance, sometimes I have to read things out to them. And I have to literally just tell myself, listen, just do it, just do it, just do it, just do it, just do it. 
it's I haven't really gone over it at all. I still get a huge anxiety attack when I have to read out loud. You develop these insecurities because if you're constantly being laughed at about ba yo and unje yo unje like those things, it's not easy sometimes for them to go away and they stay with you and you keep thinking about yo yani ke no bandi mbi kanye yo hi. Obviously, like there's something wrong with me, yeah. you know, and so it de you develop those insecurities and they stay with you. So I, I can identify yeah, with that. Not. not. <laughs> Bullying to me had a very huge impact because I, uh, when I entered puberty stage, I noticed that some things are, are wrong with me or I'm not perfect. So I, uh, I started wearing long things. I didn't want to show off my legs because people would act in a way that my boy, look at her legs. Or if I'm like, as if I'm an alien or something, I'm not human. So I would wear um, long things, even if it's hot, I would wear long things. And you no, know, I, would, I wouldn't interact with people. Or maybe, for instance, if you go to the beach, you know, the, the dress code at the beach, we wear bikinis, short things. I wouldn't want to go there because I know I have to show off some skin mm -hmm. and I can't. So I was that person and <coughs> I, I became a bully after that because I, was, I had this anger inside of me. So the only way I, I found to deal with it is to, to hurt another person next to me. And, and people wouldn't understand that what, what's going on with this chick, like why is she like this? People wouldn't really understand me, even my mother. I, I changed, I became a, a whole new person. But, but, but as she said, I, I got over it. I wear short skirts now, I show off my legs, they're nice, they, they yellow brownish. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got over it. I, I, I just realized that I've, I've been wasting time um, being concerned about what people say about me. Because after all, my happiness is in my hands. Your family actually builds your self-esteem, you know. So if you leave home without that, then you come to school, then it's going to be a problem for you because you don't have that reassurance of who you are, you know, like, they, like you, you don't have that build up. So I think it actually started home. My dream is to see black people flourishing. My dream would, to, would be to make the world a better place um, where everyone can actually express themselves, be who and what they want to be without being told otherwise or um, um, meeting up to other people's expectations and just like living life to the fullest, yeah. My dream is to take so Mizim Shlongo out of his job one day and more. <laughs> My dream is to become a TV host at SABC One. Mm -hmm. My dream is to become a DJ. My dream is to become a doctor where I could assist many people in health. Yeah, Z, you should ever sit and talk with people Or else take a walk and create a straight talk Talk what is nice, it will make you feel stronger Listen what is right and say what is wrong You should ever sit and talk with people Or else take a walk and create a straight talk Talk what is nice, it will make you feel stronger Listen what is right and say what is wrong